established here in Livingston. I am a Navy veteran. I did five and a half years in the Navy and served aboard a nuclear submarine. I then, after getting out of the Navy, came down to Louisiana and hired on with East Baton Rouge Sheriff's Office where I served for 13 years. I learned a lot of lessons in both places. I've learned how bad the drug trade really is. That was one of the specialties of my submarine when I was in the Navy was to track ships coming out of South America, both from their home ports, follow them through international waters and into American waters and then getting our Coast Guard to board those ships and be able to take control of those ships and get rid of the drug, or at least help get rid of some of the drugs coming to our country. While with the Sheriff's Office, I was able to rise to the level of supervisor. I helped coordinate and also respond to natural disasters. I was on the ground for Katrina, on the ground for Gustav. I also helped coordinate when Honeywell had several of their chlorine leaks in Baton Rouge to get personnel out there to take control of that and help protect our citizens there. I've spent the greater part of my adult life shedding blood, sweat, and tears for my country and for my parish. And I mean that literally because between the Navy and the Sheriff's Office, I now have three fused discs in my neck. And I'm still fighting with the Navy three years later to try to get the VA to give me my benefits, which is something that across our country has definitely hurt our veterans. Currently, we're up to 22 veterans a day committing suicide in this country. We've lost more veterans in one year than we have lost troops in the combined wars in Iraq and Afghanistan added together. Last year, we had 19 veterans who died <laughs> of cancer in North Carolina waiting for colonoscopies. That is what government-run health care does. And that is something that I believe wholeheartedly that we do not need in our lives. The government should not be there to tell us whether or not we can get contraceptives with our insurance. The government should not be there to tell you what insurance you are allowed to have. That is wrong. We've seen what's happened in our schools. I did several years as a school resource officer for extra duty, how badly our schools have gotten. Luckily here in Livingston, we have a fantastic school system. A lot of that comes from our parish council being able to help the school board. I'd like to see that go to all of the other school boards within District 6. I come from much humbler beginnings than either Mr. Edwards or Mr. Dietzel. I know what it's like to stretch $100 to make a payday and try to figure out what bill you're going to pay this week that you can put off till next week. So my thing with all of this is it's encouraged me after my surgery, I've gone back to school and I'm currently working on a PhD at LSU. So I know that people can recover. You can get better. There is help needed along the way. Councilman, you've all seen me here before. You've all got my number or have access to my number and that will never stop. If I am elected, that number is there for you. There are a lot of things that we need here in Livingston Parish and throughout the district, I'd like to see the Brave Initiative go from not just Baton Rouge, but elsewhere in the parish. I've, we need it here in Livingston. We need it in Point Capi. We need it everywhere. My thing, though, is I live here with my fiance and our son all live here in Livingston. I'd like to start with Livingston. From there, we can go further. If I am elected, you have my oath that I will do everything I can for my country, for the state, and for this district, and for this parish. Thank you very much for your time.